I'm Ricky Saias. Street cars, trolleys, tranvías, whatever you know them by, these vehicles will soon be rolling through El Paso. City TV had an opportunity to visit Pennsylvania where these vehicles are being restored. On this edition, we're going to show you how they're made. When it arrives, there's still like there's still floor. I mean, this is this is torn down to a little bit uh, now further state. This is down to just the frame, but this still has to go in and, and be blasted uh, by our uh, media blast booth. But what you have here is you can see this whole interior uh, structure that we're incorporating a uh, a wheelchair lift into the stairwell here, and so this is a major redesign to these original car bodies. And so what you'll see here in a moment is. We actually have to go in and, and, uh, and, and basically cut out this whole interior section to accept this wheelchair uh, lift. And, um, but from an engineering standpoint, it's a pretty big feat. We have to go in and structurally make sure that the car is, is uh, got the same strength um, uh, by redesigning what was originally built to, to structurally hold up the car. So it's a pretty big endeavor, uh, but it's exciting because it's going to uh, give um, uh, all patrons uh, access to the car. This is our uh, media blast booth. So all this is is we enclose it, um, and with uh, high pressure air, we blow uh, through the nozzle what looks to be sand, but it's actually steel. It's actually steel grit, and so that blasts against the uh, the frame of the streetcar and removes. Uh, everything down just to the, to the bare, bare steel substrate. Here you can see that uh, the extent that we cut out of that interior part of the frame. Um, it's, it's a pretty, pretty invasive uh, change to the structure, right. but like I said, from an engineering standpoint, we went in, we modeled it, uh, we tested it, we ran uh, finite element analysis to make sure that structurally it's uh, going to hold up over the life, uh, the rest of the life of the car. The whole roof that ends up getting um, basically cut off and, uh, and we, we add a whole new steel roof and steel support. So what you see here is actually we're starting to rebuild that whole middle section of the car. So you see new support members that are being built in and then the actual uh, place that the wheelchair lift will be, uh, will be positioned in. So it's really a, a, a major redesign of the whole center part of the car. After we go through and we analyze uh, parts of the, the structure that have been corroded uh, past the level that we deem acceptable, uh, we go through and we replace with new steel. So uh, there's a percentage that we allow uh, that, that if it goes down a certain percentage from the original steel thickness, we replace with new steel. So that's what, you kinda, that's what you, you're seeing here, is this is actually new steel uh, on the car. At this uh, stage, it would have had all of its car body uh, restored at this point. Um, all, all new steel roof, new steel structure, uh, support uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the roof. Um, you can see, I mean, the, it's gone through preliminary paint. Uh, so you can see the white uh, paint on the roof and then just some of the cutouts for the final paint. Uh, but otherwise, it will still need to go through final paint at this stage. Um, you can see that uh, they're starting to put the insulation in, into, the, into the roof uh, area and it's just basically the next uh, stage in the process. They have the subfloor installed and then uh, still on top of that goes the rubber flooring. Here you have the car that's further along. You have some of the exterior appointments, the windows in the car, you have uh, the roof equipment installed, uh, you have some of the interior uh, paneling that's going in all of the fisheye lights that are uh, uh, replica. They look uh, like the original uh, fisheye lights, so those are the dome lights. Um, they're actually LED lights, so it's, uh, again, bring that nostalgia look, the original look, but it's really a modern light. Modern. Oh, wow. Yeah. But you can see the uh, wheelchair lift that's actually installed, it's, and, and it deploys. It comes out from, from the step well down to either curb height or, or, or uh, street height. There's a bit of exposed here, but we just have some roof paneling to put in. The panels have already been, um, they've actually been installed once, and now they're over in paint to get painted, and they'll be installed a second time. So we did the fit up, make sure that everything fits up correctly, and then they went over to be uh, painted, so then they can be finally installed in the car um, for complete installation. 
These are the cars that ran on the city streets previously. So that's something special. But what we've actually incorporated are all the modern things that we as riders expect today. So you have your Wi-Fi, you have air conditioning, you have modern propulsion that's going to make these cars super reliable. Um, really, inside packaged inside this historical car is, is, is a modern street car. So uh, it is really the best of both worlds. Thank you to media specialist Jose Solis for putting together that video. The streetcars will roll into town in 2018. And in the coming weeks, Your City in 5 will bring you several stories regarding the project, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.